War of the Spark has come to modern, and discard decks rejoice because we have Davriel. And spoiler alert, Davriel is really good. First of all, I know a thing or two about making modern decks. Birth five color humans into the world, and popularize hardened skills affinity. No big deal. Hashtag humble. Hashtag blessed. Anyway, whenever I'm building a deck, I always look to avoid cards that only work in a very narrow set of situations. Particularly cards that only work well when we're winning. And for discard decks, the card that really bugs me is Shrieking Affliction. At our opponent's upkeep, if they have one or fewer cards in hand, they lose three life. And that's good if we're winning, but it does absolutely nothing in every other situation. Because like, what if they don't have one card in hand? What if they have two? Or what if they have a creature out and they're hitting us and we're trying to survive, but we pull this card and it's like, well, I can't do anything there. But all discard decks run four racks and four Shrieking Afflictions because often discard decks struggle to close out games. But that brings us to Davriel. After testing it, Davriel seems a lot stronger than Shrieking Affliction. And we'll talk about why in a second. First of all, this deck here is really heavy on prison. Most discard decks run one to two ensnaring bridges. This one runs four. And before ensnaring bridge, we have three bitter blossoms to block our opponent's creatures. And it can also finish off games. So because we have these defensive cards here, that makes Davriel a lot better. Because Davriel's static ability says at our opponent's upkeep, if they have one or less cards, they take two damage. And the longer Davriel stays out, the better it is. It's basically Shrieking Affliction, but its discard ability helps a lot. Now comparing Davriel to Shrieking Affliction, in the best case situation for Davriel, it stays out for several turns, dealing two damage each turn. If our opponent tries to hold cards in hand, we can make them discard with the minus one ability. So best case scenario, it's insanely good and it can win this a game. But what I like most about Davriel is that even in the worst case situation, it's still a solid card. Because let's say we don't have Ensnaring Bridge or Bitter Blossom to defend it, and we just play it knowing it's going to die next turn. For three mana that still make our opponent discard a card, deal two damage to them, and soak up an attack. I certainly think it's pretty good. However, is it as good as Liliana? Absolutely not. Liliana can do a lot more, but I'm still a big fan of Davriel. So aside from Davriel and the prison cards, we have many of the staples of discard decks. Four Raven's Crimes, which makes our opponent discard, but we can also repeatedly cast it from graveyard if we discard a land. Then we have Inquisition, Thoughtseize, and two Funeral Charms. It can make our opponent discard at instant speed at their draw step, and it also kills little creatures like Noble Hierarch. Then there's the Rack. It is more forgiving than Shrieking Affliction. At our opponent's upkeep, if they have two cards in hand, they take one damage. If they have one card in hand, they take two damage. And if they have zero cards in hand, they take three damage. And then we have four wrenched mines. For two mana, our opponent discards two cards unless they discard an artifact card. Against most decks, it's a two for one. And then two collective brutalities. As for lands, we have four Mutavolt, which if our opponent runs out of cards, we can win the game with Mutavolt. And to help make up for the colorless, we have three Urborgs, which lets Mutavolt make black mana. But now on a sideboard. Against creature heavy decks, we have a Dismember, three Bonches Last Reckonings, which board wipes in turn three. Our lands don't untap for a turn, but it's not too bad in a discard deck. And there's also one Fatal Push. We do have one main deck already, but it's good against little creatures. And because there's a lot of Faithless Looting decks out there, Waste Not says when our opponent discards a creature, we get a 2 2 black zombie token. If they discard a land, we get two black mana. And if they discard a non creature spell, we draw a card. And then against Graver decks, we have four Leyland of the Void. And against Tron and other control decks, we have four Fulminator Mages that takes out a land. And because we do have a lot of artifacts and enchantments in the main deck, we have one spell sky to redirect removal to it. And it could also help defend Davriel and Liliana. That's the deck, so let's get to the gameplay. But first, if you want to see more content like this, be sure to subscribe because subscribing lets me know what videos people really like. But without further ado, here's the gameplay, and I hope you enjoy. Opening hand, not a lot of discard, but we do have a good prison setup, so we will keep. And it looks like it's Eldrazi Tron. Okay, that makes things a little trickier, but we'll go Raven's Crime. Opponent discards Ghost Quarter and pass back. Uh oh, and it's Chalice. All right. And now for turn two, let's go Wrench Mine. They probably have an artifact, though. No, and they discard two lands. Okay. And then back to our opponent. And a Thought Knot Seer. They're probably going to take the Ensnaring Bridge. Indeed, they do. Back on our turn, Wrench Mine. Not safe for Davriel. So let's just go Bitter Blossom and pass back. On it fires the map, grabbing another temple. And back to us. <laughs> Oh, bridge. So play the bridge. Pass back. Now things are looking really good. Out of reshaper. And back on our turn. Let's go Davriel. Force discard. Ooh, Mognai. Swing for one. And then play land. Might as well get this thing out of hand by getting it countered. So that way they can't attack for sure. And then back to our opponent. Davriel does two damage. Nice. And which is these? Chalice on two. Sure. I think at this point we don't really need anything. So then back on our turn. Swing in for two. Opponent takes the two. And let's get one of these hoes out of hand. Let's get rid of that. And then back to our opponent. Two more damage. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's so exciting. It's like the bridge and this are they're really good. And then our opponent concedes. So clean, so clean. It's like if this guy can stay out long enough, he's super worth it. But now on to sideboarding. Going on to game two because they have a lot of artifacts. I'm gonna dump three wrench mines. Also one fatal push to put in a dismember. Bonsu's last reckoning and two full minute mages. And with that, let's go to game two. Opening hand, only one land, so we're gonna mole. Now we have too many lands, but we'll keep it. Well, it starts off with the map, and we shall start off with thought seas. Interesting, interesting. So I suppose we take the chalice. Everything else here is fine. We got the bridge, and then back to our opponent. Another map, and ooh, look at that pull right there. One wrench mined in. 
deck. Oops, should have played Meat Vault, but whatever. And then Wrench Mine, dropping two Matter Shapers, and then back to our opponent. Opponent passes back to us. And now we could drop the bridge, but they do have a Karn in hand next turn, and they'll be able to play the Karn after fetching. So we'll go Davriel. Opponent fetches. Oh, wait, it goes to hand. Oh, shoot, I'm retarded. I mean, I'm actually retarded because I'm autistic. So I'm allowed to say that, and you know, but we do have one more turn. So we might be able to get the Karn if they don't pull land here. And they're not even trying for it. Okay. Grabs a power plant, so they don't take two damage. What is these? Alice on one. Fair enough. So in the end, we're able to get the Karn anyway. So boom. And instead of swinging, let's just go and snaring bridge. Now back to our opponent. On it takes two. And then passes back. Oh, Liliana, nice. But perhaps we just swing in instead. Yeah, we'll just do that. Four damage coming in. They get a 14, then they'll go to 12 here. And they pass back, keeping one card in hand. Since they do have Chalice, it is a pretty smart move to try and keep cards in hand to get around this. But we also have Liliana. Oh, and they concede. All right. That was fun. I like that. Davriel's a lot better than I thought it was. As long as we have the bridge out, we're basically doing two damage every turn, or almost every turn. Assuming we keep up the discard, which we usually can. So I'm happy in Ponce. But now on to the next one. Opening hand, we got some discarding stuff, and we got a bridge. So we'll keep on it. Plays Relic of Progenitus. So to start things off, let's go Inquisition. And it looks like it's Titan Shift. So for now, we'll just take this little guy, because the Summoner's Pack won't be an issue for a while. And then we'll pass back. One plays land, passes back. And might as well take the Summoner's Pack with Brutality. Yep, and two more lands. And pass back. One plays land, passes back. And we could fire Raven's Crime, even though it's going to get hit by this. But I really want to play Rack this turn. Or maybe we just double discard him with Raven's Crime. And I'll set them with Raven's Crime. So boom. And before they can fire the Relic, let's go boom. Discarding that. Ooh, and it's a bolt. All right. So it looks like we're losing the Raven's Crime, but that's okay. I want to pass it back. Back on our turn. Another bridge. So let's just go rack. And they draw on two cards. So we might as well thought seize as well. Just to be extra safe. Oh. So we'll take scape shift. I mean, this is also kind of a problem. But we do have bridge. We'll take scape shift for now. And then back to our opponent. They'll take two damage at the upkeep. And ooh, they fire it. Okay. What? They, they grab wood elves? Why? All right. I guess we're just trying to get the Valakit going. But now things are kind of awkward. They might be able to outspeed us. Got a pass back. Oh, and they pull another Valaka. Back in our turn, we'll play a bridge. But the Valakas could be a problem if they draw into land. And they do draw a mountain. So any more mountains will cause both of these to trigger. Six damage per land. Okay. Back in our turn, land, play a bridge. And we could prevent this from attacking us if we discard ourselves. Yeah, it's kind of lame, but whatever. Then back to our opponent. And it's down to eight. Oh, fine. Oh, thank God. There's hope now. As long as they don't hit any more lands, five damage will be a lot. Opponent does hit a land, but they concede. Because even if they deal six, that won't be lethal. And if they deal three here, that's still three damage to the upkeep. Dang, that's a little too close, though. It would have been nice if we pulled this guy like a couple turns earlier to deal extra damage, but we got there. Going into the game two, I put in a spell sky, protect artifacts, but also to redirect the Valakut stuff, and also put in three Fulminator Mages, dumping this. And with that, let's go to game two. Opening hand, one land, so we're gonna mull. It could be good. I guess we'll keep. Opponent plays a land tap, then we'll thought seize them. Interesting. This thing is a problem. Card draws also a problem, but I think we gotta take this thing. And then pass back. On explores, just like I explored Joe Mama's ass. Three lands already. Oh, speaking of lands, play the rack. And then pass back. More exploring. And then back in our turn, let's go Liliana. Discarding Raven's Crime. They discard the Cur Tribe Elder. Back to our opponent. Bolt us directly. Interesting. You'd think they'd go for Liliana. Or maybe they just really want to see the double rack combo, if you know what I mean. What else? And then passes back in. Ooh, that is muy grande. The safest move here, I think, is to go this. Just in case we want to make him sack. Escape shift. Nice. And might as well make him sack. And then play Fulminator Mage. Hooray! Back to our opponent. Three damage. They pass back. Mute of all, okay. Then we make discard. Ancient grudge. Fine. And we'll swing for four. Opponent goes 11 back to them, which is these. And escape shift. Uh oh. So we gotta take out one of these lands. Oh, so nice not taking any damage from that. Okie dokie, back on our turn. Just up this. Swing for four. And back to our opponent. Velika. Oh, oh, oh. We pull a rack, but they do have ancient grudge. That's no fun. So we'll force the grudge out of them. Yep. Opponent gets a land. But that's the game. Are they just gonna take two damage here? What a legend. All right, it's pretty straightforward. A little uneventful. But yeah, discarding seems pretty good right now. So on to the next one. Opening hand, one land. So we're gonna mull. Uh, mull. Fine. Fine, whatever. I guess we gotta dump this and a little too early for that. And it's Odd Nauseam. So I guess just take Odd Nauseam. Unlife's gonna be an issue and our land situation isn't helping, but at least we can go this. Take the Unlife. Might as well play the Rack and then pass back. Visions. Another Visions. And then opponent passes back. Mm, Alright. Swing for two. Super lame though. Which is these? Unlife. Okay. And finally. So the question is do we go Wrench Mind or Liliana? I think maybe Wrench Mind. We're pretty desperate at this point. Spoils and Gemstone. But I imagine they still have it. 
it. I mean, we're just so late getting that land. Yeah, darn. Okay. So we're going to game two. Going to game two, and I'm bringing a spell sky, dumping this, and with that, let's go to game two. I mean, probably should have taken the bridges out and put in the fulminator mages, but like, if it comes to that, I don't even want to win. One land, mole, and yeah, we'll keep this. Autumn mutable. Start off with Inquisition. Two unlifes and a simian. So take the unlife and pass back. Do we hit them with the thought seize? I really don't like that unlife in there, and they can play it next turn so uh yeah boils of the vault as well so we'll take the unlife might as well make them discard as well and pass back spends lotus bloom and devriel nice for now let's go wrench mine so there goes their hand and then pass back they play land and no land for us but we can play bitter blossom and then pass back they play another land we miss another land we pass back which is these unlife what a pull so lucky no we didn't hit a land this is lame mm. oh my gosh it's like the special olympics i'm autistic i can say that back on our turn swing for three opponent passes back and we hit a land finally now we swing for four try and play davriel it hits and will force discard vendillion interesting but luckily we can block it and then pass back on it takes the two and then passes back might as well force discard angel's grace sure swing for five and if only these are fulminator mages but they're not so pass back back on our turn let's go raven's crime they discard a land and then swing for it doesn't really matter two fairies was it two no, three fairies okay and then back to opponent and now the poison counters begin no what a sad match and you think with all this discard be able to get them but we we're just a little too slow this game like how do they even get the unlife you know what i mean like we discarded two of them where'd the third one come from you know and even if these were both fulminator mages and we took out two of their lands they still had plenty of mana I and mean, i guess we could have gotten a couple swings in but now on to the next one one land hands hurt my butthole so we're gonna mull mm, mull one more time i mean i guess bottom bottom start with raven's crime oh that's a blood gas Wah. And it's dredge. This will be tricky. So let's just go Inquisition, take out Reunion, then play the rack, and pass back. Two amalgams in graveyard. We're probably gonna lose this one. At least the first game. Back on our turn, wrench mine, but we can't play it. Swing in for two. And pass back. Reaping chill. Golgari. And a land. Well, we can't really play this now because we don't have any way of defending it. We'll just go wrench mine, which will probably help them. Yeah, this is a dilemma. Because like we know they have dredge in hand, but they also have two conflog laws in graveyard. So we'll be able to discard anyway. <sighs> let's just let's just march to our doom. All right, back to our opponent. Yeah, this ain't looking too good unless we pull a bridge here. No, that's exactly 10 damage. So we're going to game two. Actually, we could block. Nah, we're not. We're going to game two. We're going to game two. I'm going to put in four ley lines, one waste knot, and one spell skype. And then dump this. And with that, let's go to game two. Opening hand, ley line, thought sees yes. Yes, indeed. Good luck winning now. Oh, luckily for them, they have nature's claim. Just kidding. No nature's claim for you, big boy. They pass back. Then we'll get things going here. Better blossom and pass back. When it goes, faith is looting. Back on our chin brutality. And we probably go with Liliana and then pass back on it's got nothing as it should be and in snaring bridge dang but I won't fire the bridge just yet because we might not want to show them it because who knows if they put in ancient grudges or not and they probably did but let's take a look a lot of nothing and there's the concede so game three it is game three no change to the sideboard but we have no ley line so we're mulling mulligan oh muy grande oh, so much good stuff I guess dump this land and man how do you even come back from that you know Raven's crime might as well if we can hit a second land here and do the brutality then I think it's over because they probably have like one nature's claim in hand but two nature's claims i don't think so Ooh, no green either well i guess sure mm, no land but we have the rack play it and back to opponent opponent swings for two out okay cool decision time we can try and take a nature's claim but they don't even have green out so i think the smarter move waste not and then once we start discarding them a lot this will be very very good value especially if they start discarding themselves then that would be muy grande back on our turn land let's go collective brutality save the looting. we want them to use this for waste not so we'll get rid of this we then draw a card thought seize they can thought seize the prize amalgam get a creature ourselves yeah i'll do that we'll take two damage in the process but it's worth it ba -doom, ba -doom. oh it feels so good it's like the first time playing a graver deck is just a joy it's like yes please use faithless looting the first time those words have ever been spoken back on our turn lands so let's go raven so we draw a card another land so raven we draw another card and mutavolt there should be another prize amalgam there yeah there is so raven again and we get a creature token so much fun what is these synchroid imp sure no more cards to discard but we got another rack that'll be six damage at this upkeep it's like if they keep playing their cards the rack hurts them but if they don't play their cards we'll discard them and make waste not worth it so it's like how do they get around it they can't now they're keeping it in hand to try and delay the damage but raven again oh no they tricked us all right but they're delaying the inevitable for now we'll just pass back they go to four they pass back to us and ensnaring bridge that should 
should do it. So we'll swing in for two. We'll have to block and then bridge. Upkeep, they go to two. Liliana, and there is the concede. If only every match were like that. Oh, the joy. What a high note to end on. So in conclusion, Davriel may sound like a low-end porn star name, but it turns out he's actually a high-end porn star. I'm a huge fan of the card. I think it's really good. And when you compare it to Shrieking Affliction, Davriel feels so much more flexible because as long as we have something to defend, like Bitter Blossom or Bridge, it just stays out. And it has the potential to do a lot of damage. And having the discard ability as an option really forces our opponent to have a low hand size. With Davriel and assuming the new Mulligan rule sticks, I think discard looks really good right now because with the new London Mulligan rule, opening hands seem a lot stronger now and being able to turn one Inquisition or Thoughtseize, that's really big. Especially with so many combo decks floating around now, even though we did lose Odd Nauseam, but whatever. So in other words, I like the deck a lot and hopefully you did too. But that is all for now. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And as always, I hope you have a great day.